dance of my worship rolls up to the Father. Noises, thunders, lightning were the response to my worship. The fragrance of my worship rolls up to the Father. Noises, thunders, lightning were the response to my worship. First it was fragrance, then it turned to fire. My worship is my weapon. This is how I win my battle. Father, we thank you because our weapon before you ever is our worship, our reverence, our praises. It starts like normal words and when we enter into your presence, our enemy becomes the victims. Glory be to your holy name. Thank you because you have commanded our victory. Glory to your name. Father, we thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Friends, the commandment. God created man particularly to worship him. That's the... You know, every manufacturer is delighted when the product is satisfying the purpose. It's the same thing about our God. Remember, we know the, throughout this week we've been talking about the commandment. And today we are going to round up and thank God we start today. Tomorrow is another day to worship God. Another day to spend in the presence of God. We want to use this opportunity to remind you and to invite you. We'll be having four services but in three. Because the third and fourth will be in one. Because we'll be having a guest minister. And by the grace of God is the assistant pastor in charge of Provis Lagos Provis 3. The CSR. And his name is Pastor Sunday Abosse. He will be with us from 10 a.m. till about 11.30. Thereabout. He will be concluding oh, about 10 to 11, or 11, a bit about 5, 11. And we invite you. But first service, second service, is going to be another wow time in the presence of God. And the topic is about the presence of God. So we want to invite you. And you say we are welcome. 6.30 a.m. first service to 7.45 second service 7.50 to 9.00 a.m. You are welcome. So friends, God created man and he looked at man and said this is good and he blessed man and he said be fruitful, multiply, enjoy the earth and he looked at man and he said this is very good because he saw in man. And you see in chapter 3 of Genesis, if you read from verse 9 and 10, you will see that God at all times come to enjoy fellowship with man. But when sin came in, man went hiding. I'm praying for you and me. If there's any way we are hiding now because of sin, and we are afraid of God's presence, I'm praying that it will change today in Jesus' name. Friends, the Bible recorded that Joshaphat and his army, 2 Chronicles 20 from verse 18 to 23. They just were praising God, worshipping God, and their enemy, just like we sang in that song, it started like a praise, it started like a worship, then it turned to fire to destroy the enemy. The enemy of Joshaphat began to fight themselves. Look at what the Bible says that interests me. If you read that story, it's nice, but I just want to conclude with this. In Psalm 50, 14 and 15, the Bible says, Offer unto God thanksgiving, and pay thy vows unto the Most High. And he said there, he said, And call upon me in your day of trouble, and will deliver thee, and thou shalt glorify me. That's about it. Every time you praise God, you worship God in sincerity, in holiness, in the beauty of His holiness, you see your enemy becoming the victim. And that's our prayer today. And that's our advice to you. Because the moment you obey the commandment, then everything that he created obeys you. We'll see you again next week. Or rather, we invite you for tomorrow. We look forward to seeing you tomorrow in our church. God bless you.